Well, this is definitely different. The best advice I'd give about Border is that you ought to watch it now knowing as little as possible about it, and that would probably include not watching the trailer or finishing the rest of this review, which doesn't give away the game, I'm talking about the trailer here, but does let slip that there is a game, which is just about as damning when it comes to material like this. The fact is, good or bad, I could probably sell the viewing of this to one certain audience simply by describing it as a grittier version of certain TV shows, but then you'd know a bit too much about what to expect, and one of the rare treats of micro-distribution outfits like Neon Pictures is that one can, on occasion, happen on a movie that hits them totally out of left field. In any case, Hailing from Sweden, directed by Ali Abbasi and based on a novel by John Avide Linkfus of Let the Right One In, Border at first concerns the odd sad life of odd sad Nina, played by Eva Melander, a border agency guard like I guess that's Sweden's version of the TSA, afflicted at least as far as she knows with a chromosome deficiency that's left her infertile, misshapen, and possessed of a vaguely Neanderthalic facial feature. Uncomfortable around other people, she's pulled from border duty to assist the police based on her innate, inexplicable ability to identify guilty persons, guilty of what is a bit trickier, by their scent, in order to help track down and dismantle a ring of pedophile pornographers. Whether or not this particularly bleak, absurdist version of the ugly duckling turns out to have a superpower initial hook of the main story, the B story, or both, is part of the oughtn't be spoiled part, but one way or another, the film at least wants you to think there's a curveball incoming as the focus for Act 2 gradually shifts to Nina's budding friendship with a mysterious drifter named Vor she encounters during a strip search at work. He's malformed in similar fashion to her, plus an additional deformity to his genitalia, but seems more brazenly comfortable with this, and also with other things she secretly enjoys but knows she isn't supposed to, like wandering in the woods, eating maggots, and, well, you get the picture. They're unusual, but not too unusual from one another, and Vor seems to know more about this than he's letting on. By this point, you've either grasped in whole or in part at least what genre Border actually ends up occupying, though the specifics and how specific of what's really going on may still end up throwing you for a bit of a loop. It's certainly a bold angle in both directions, giving that fans of the esoteric social realist stylism that Abbasi grounds the main thrust of the story in and the overall atmosphere might not be willing to fix their attention on such preposterous big idea foundations, while genre fans who'd otherwise be expected to fall hard for the high concept might not be terribly fond of how it insists on playing out in the context of an ultra-bleak crime thriller character piece about sex trafficking baby smugglers and button-pushing grotesquerie as regards the main character's offbeat self-discovery journey. Regardless, narrow window of peel or not, Border is committed admirably to the strength of its own premise and the potential therein, and while not for everyone, it ends up as one of the more engaging and original genre films to hit this year, so while my recommendation does come with a reservation that yes, this is exactly as grim and as bizarre as it looks to the right audience, I fully expect that's just more of a recommendation and that audience will end up glad that they sought it out.